watch a moon get ship. My brother, you have been a shelter for me. You'll find him there so high, I'm told, with those he loves to keep. My brother, you have been a shelter for me. the wilderness where dying ones are lost. My brother, you have been a shelter for me. You'll find him there to heal and bless, no matter what the cost. My sisters, you have been a shelter for me.
Okay, we shall open to our hymn book, singing hymn number 198. God is there, yeah. and that to bless us. Yeah. You're welcome to the house of the Lord again this evening. May the Lord bless you for coming. Yeah. We've got a great start with um, the youth orchestra giving us... Um, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and then the choir lead me to the rock that is higher than I, then the male quartet, Jesus, or the male in general, Jesus paid it all. That's a good start, and we too can join in that prelude by singing hymn number 198, God is here and that to bless us. We're going to take verses 1, 3, and four, she will come forward to be our song leader tonight.
song before prayers, song number 700. We sing verses 1, 2, and 4. The last verse, which is verse 4, we sing, standing after which we shall be led in prayer. 700. call on Sister Mercy, the leader of our work in Republic of Ireland, to lead us in congregational prayer. Amen. Shall we pray? Hallelujah. Amen. Thine the glory. Tonight we have come again to be revived. Oh Lord, revive us again. You have started reviving us in Sunday morning. Tonight we are here again. Revive us again. Many have been waiting, expectant. Oh Lord, you know what is hindering them from getting revived, from being saved. But tonight, oh Lord, as they come before you, oh Lord, revive us again. Oh Lord, save the sinner, sanctify, baptize the Holy Ghost and fire. Oh Lord, heal the sick. Oh Lord, every prayer request that will be brought before you tonight as we go on our knees to pray. Oh Lord, answer our prayers. We commit your speaker tonight. The person you are going to speak through. Holy Spirit, speak to him. Oh Lord, use his word to reach us. Oh Lord, let it revive our faith. Lift us up, oh God. Let our prayer rise to the throne of grace. Let us come speedily. Let blessings flow here. And your name shall be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, we continue with um, the choir giving us the first special. Jesus is coming. At the end of which, if you have testimonies of victories in your soul, what the Lord has done for you, you are free to give a shout of that victory in 120 seconds.
I want to cut the story short. On the 14th December 2016, when I was preparing for our camp meeting in Port Harcourt, I entered the bathroom only to find that Satan has planned badly for me. I had what you call stroke or left. You see, I shouted on Jesus, thank you for my children and my husband. They prayed, they sent a message to the campground, and all of them prayed for me. They were coming in turn, and it stored. Yeah. I thank God so much because he loved me. A month ago, I traveled to Canada to see my children. I did not go with the uh, UK visa, but we just said, let us pray. And let us go to UK uh, embassy and apply. After applying, we were praying, God, if you want me to come to this committee, let them stamp the visa. And in two weeks, my passport came back. They stamped six months for me. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. God has been doing so much for me. When I see him, I will give him thanks. Yeah. Um. I thank God tonight for saving my soul, yeah. for sanctifying me and baptizing me with Holy Ghost and fire. Yeah. I want to thank God especially for what He did uh, for us when we were coming to uh, the camp meeting. My family were so excited coming to the camp meeting and we boarded the ferry. And as we, about three hours to, uh, to come down from the ferry, I was just trying to come down the staircase and I lost my footing. In a bid not to hit my head on the wall, I land awkwardly on my leg, and I was there. It was three hours. Nobody to help me, just my wife alone. But God was there with us. Amen. And when we got to the uh, campground here, the love of uh, the people of God was so overwhelming. Glory be to God. Uh, fast forward to 2016. Uh, I came into this place with a body in my heart because I have uh, a travel offense, uh, a traffic offense which was to be uh, taken to court. And I was praying, and uh, you know, my friends were praying with me. And when we got, got back to Highland, and uh, the case came up in court, I was found guilty, I was uh, fined 1,000 a, a euro and five penalty points. I told my wife, I said, what's happened? We prayed, but we just you know, let it go. But uh, early this year, I was in Nigeria, my wife just called me, she, she said the letter came in the post. And they said, uh, the case that came up then, some people wanted to uh, appeal it. They just need my signature. I said, call them and tell them I'm, you know, I'm away. And she, she, she did. And they said, I'll send the, uh, uh, the letter to him. I just let him append the signature. To cut the long story short, uh, about two months later, we just, we forgotten it. We said, maybe nothing's going to happen. Uh, I, you know, I said I was, far, I was charged uh, 1,000 euro. We found a thousand euro check in the post and the five penalty point quashed. This Lord that has done this for me, I want to serve him to the end. I thank God, I thank God for giving me victory over sin. Um, um, I know that a car meeting will end on Sunday, but I'm finding it difficult to believe that it will end because um, I'm loving every bit of it. And um, I know if I stay behind by 1.30 on Sunday, I'm, I'm going to be kicked out. But there's a place that I will not be kicked out, which is eternal home. And I pray that we'll all be there. Amen. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Amen. Uh, when I was younger than this, God told me, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Every other thing shall be added. This I did. I went to the altar of prayer. God saved my soul. He sanctified me and baptized me with Holy Ghost and fire. Since then, he has been all in all to me. I cannot enumerate what God has done. I thank him for the trials as a cord of love. That is what has been drawing me near to him every day. I thank him for the power to uphold. Since my teenage, he has held me to this now. Through Mountain Thorpe, through the valley, he led me to this end. I can't do anything by myself. Whatever happens to me, just a whisper of prayer. God, you know I can't do anything. Come and do it for me. You know I am thanking him for answers to prayers. Yeah. He answered many of my prayers, all of my prayers, and I'm looking up to him. I've promised him 
thine forever I will be until I see him face to face. Not this evening because God is good. And I started my life very rough. I was only 16 and I lost my dad. At 17, I lost my mom. And at 18, I lost my elder brother. Like three deaths in, in, in three years. And my life was, I, I mean, it was struck for misery. But I thank God. God intervened. Amen. All that darkness and gloom, God intervened with this glorious gospel. Amen. The gospel shone light into my life. I surrendered my life to God. And from that day onward, everything turned around. Amen. All the curses... All the misery, everything evil ended. And God put me on a plane of joy. And I've been traveling on this road of joy since 1990 up till today. I have no cause to regret. Um, There was a time during the camp meeting, and I remember giving a request. I was doing a job that was out of sync with the purpose God had for my life. And I had to shout out to the children of God, deliver me from St. Mongols. One of the sisters thought it was a disease. She thought I said fungus. She said, God will deliver you. God took me from that job. I just resigned. I didn't even know anything about being an entrepreneur. No experience, nothing. But God knew my heart that I wanted to do something that would bring me joy. And he took me from just doing that to, to, one of, to be on, uh, on the BBC Actually, I was on last night, but because we're in camp, they didn't even inform me. I just want to thank God for what he has done with my life. I want to serve him to the end. And I want to pray that every young person here tonight will make a decision for God so that their destiny will be intact. Check in, don't check out. God bless you. I thank God for his gracious enabling for myself and my wife to be here. He's a good God. And uh, I equally thank him for granting us Johnny Messi's here and there. It's good to serve God. Our God is a good God. Uh, I was born into a Muslim home, extremist, actually. And I thank God. God shed his light on my way. And he turned my situation around. Uh, I did tell him uh, I'm a sinner. And uh, I forsook my sins. And then uh, he forgave me my sins. And then he saved my soul, sanctified me, and filled me with Holy Ghost and fire. Since then, he has been my God, and it has been everything unto me. Do you know that uh, this year is a special year for me? Uh, The Lord added one year to my union with my lovely wife, and uh, he has been in the business. uh, I have been in this business of uh, union uh, about 35 years ago. Uh, And it's God that is doing it. Uh, He's the one sustaining it. He gave us uh, children that he's taking care of. Uh, last year, when I, uh, about two years ago, I was here. We were hosted to a very warm reception. And I did mention that when next I come, I will come with my grandson. But uh, due to situation beyond our control, we couldn't come. But he was having a better thing for me here, too. Uh, do you know that my son was relocated from Finland to UK? And he has become part of this church. I give God the glory. This God is so favorable to me. I don't know how to thank him. Uh, one other thing he did for me in this gospel, when I newly got saved, was that uh, I was having a health challenge. And my job is so strenuous. And uh, when I came back, I was uh, weak, actually. And then uh, when my wife came back from her work, uh, she found out that I was sick. Then, uh, to cut it short, the enemy has caged me. He had wanted to slaughter me. But I thank God I was obedient when he talked. I was told God can communicate. He communicated with me, and I left to church. And before I knew it, it was the enemy.
don't know if you can feel something. I'm having a feeling. And that feeling is that I can feel that God is here. There is a feeling in the air that God is here. And why is he here? God is here to bless us. Amen. 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 I mean, he bless us tonight. Amen. But you need to do something, you know. That song says you, you need to bring your vessels. Amen. It depends on what kind of vessel you are bringing tonight. Amen. But God is ready to fill it. Amen. And he will fill it for you. Amen. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, Amen. whose sin is covered. Amen. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guy. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. I just read from um, Psalm 32, and I'm reading from Deuteronomy chapter 33 now, verse um, 29. Just the first part. Happy are thou, O Israel, mm-hmm. who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. I just want you to place, you place your name there. Happy are thou, O Israel. Amen. But if you are not happy yet, um, ju- ju- just, just use a pen or a pencil, okay? Just mark a pencil there. So that at the end of this sermon tonight, God will make you happy. Amen. And then you'll be able to put your name, place your name there and say, Happy are thou, O Daniel, no matter what your name is. Amen. And God will do it for you. Amen. Tonight we are looking at... Um, The happy people. Happy people. You see, happiness is something that is sought by everybody. Everybody wants to feel it. Children want to feel it. Adults want to feel it. I remember some days ago, one grandpa said, oh, that the grand, maybe grandson or something said, oh, dad, I'm not happy because you have not come to see me. You can see that happiness is what everybody is looking for in this world. And because of happiness, people seeking for happiness, people travel here and there. Oh, yes, I just want to leave my base and go somewhere. I want to be happy. And some people, they they, they acquire some things. I I don't really know the names of uh, latest cars, you see. Some people say, yeah, I must get that car because I want to be happy. That car will make me happy. But I tell you, this happiness is a thing of a moment. This happiness is, is, is a thing that do not last. Yeah. Why am I saying this? You buy a new car, like, latest car now, by maybe in the next three months, you feel, oh, I'm tired of this. So that's why I said, this kind of happiness is the happiness is a thing of the moment. It does not last, okay? And then, because some people do not actually have that happiness in their heart, they tend to be discouraged. And when they are discouraged, they do otherwise. I, I, I saw a boy some time ago. I don't know how old, how old he was or how old he is. He, out of discouragement, he tried to throw himself into a river so that he can die. And he was so lucky people were around him to rescue him. But he was struggling. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What is in this life? Let me die. Let me die. A friend said to me, how old is this boy? Already discouraged about life. Let me die. That was the statement. What is in this life? Let me die. Let me die. And that is because he has not gotten the real happiness. Yeah. He has not gotten the true happiness. Oh, yeah. It's good to be happy, you know. Yeah. But there is happiness that is beyond happiness. Yeah. And I pray today and tonight that those who have not gotten that happiness, that God will give it to you. Yeah. And there was a woman too. She was discouraged in life. She, she, she drove to a nearby river. She packed her beautiful car and jumped into it and that was the end of her. So, and at times, you, you see, that maybe you would have, that woman before now would have, you know, been, been in a happy mood, so to say, happy mood, okay? And at the end of the day, she got discouraged, and she, mo- and she moved herself into where she found herself dead. Now, real happiness will move you forward. Amen. Real happiness will move you into goodness. Amen. Real happiness will take you on and on. Amen. You'll be happy all the way. Amen. Even if you have some stones. You know, sometimes winds blow, you know, to individual life. When it comes, that real happiness in your life will make you to stand as a soldier of the cross. He will do it. That is God. That is the happiness that comes from God. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has come to give us that happiness. That happiness that can be sustained. That happiness that can take us along. That happiness that you have in your heart and you'll never be discouraged. May God give those who have not gotten it tonight. Amen. Amen. Right, I want to read John 15. John 15, from verse, um, I'm reading verses 
13 and 14. John 15, 13 and 14. Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay his, down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. Jesus, Jesus Christ is the one saying this. He's our friend. Yeah. He said, there is, no matter how friends love you in this world, there, there comes a time that they will not be able to help you. There will come a time that we, they will leave you. And you will be singing the song, Sometimes I'm Left Alone. But Jesus Christ said, look, I, greater love has no man than this, that a man laid, laid down his life for his friends. Jesus came into this world, laid down his life, that you and I will be saved from our life of sin. That when we have that real happiness, that will be sustained. That will help us from this world to, the, to, the, uh, to heaven. Amen. And now, who are these true uh, happy people? Who are they? Isaiah tells us. Isaiah 61. He tells us who, are, who these people are that really that have the real happiness. Isaiah 61 verse 10. Isaiah 61 verse 10 says, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. Yeah. For he had clothed me with the garments of salvation. Yeah. He had covered me with the robe of righteousness. Yeah. And as a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments. Right. And as a bride had ordained um, herself with, the jewel, with jewels. Yeah. That is God in action. He's the one that can give that salvation. Yeah. You see, when we read in the first place, um, that say, blessed is the man whose, whose um, transgression is forgiven. In that place, you can say, happy is the man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah happy is the man. When your sins are forgiven, you'll be happy. Yeah. When your sins are forgiven, you will become gods. As in, you will belong to God. The enemy will have no power over you. You see, this temporal happiness, the enemy can use it sometimes, you know. Some people, they feel they are happy, and before you know it, they are gone. Now, we, just, we, talk, we talked about people who we travel, because, seeking for, um, for happiness. Sometimes when they are back to base, the sorrow will increase. Because that is just a thing of the moment. I'm going away, I'm traveling, I, want, I, I just need, I just need um, to be happy. And that's why some people say sometimes, oh, you know what? I just want to be happy. But then, who can actually be happy? Except if God, if Jesus himself comes into your heart. Except if you decide to say, Lord, I surrender my all to you, and I know it's you and you that can help me. Amen. Those people, the true, the true, true happy people, they have God as their helper. Yes. As their best friend. Yes. As the deliverer. Yes. As the king of kings, yeah. as the protector, yeah. he's everything yeah. to, to, to such a man who, or a woman who will have that real or true happiness. I tell you that heaven is a happy place. Yeah. And those that will go to heaven will be happy people. Right. Not the happiness of the moment, as I've been saying, no. but that lasting happiness. Amen. That joy of salvation in the heart. Amen. And God will do it for you tonight. Yeah. You see, a man, there was a man in the Bible, a very, very short man. He needed that grace of God. He needed to be happy. And then he, he did all he could to make sure that he, he, he was able to get in touch with Jesus. Yeah. He was able to engage Jesus. He was able to catch his at, at, uh, attention. Now, let's read um, Luke chapter 19. Luke 19 from verse 6. Luke 19. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see, to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up to a sycamore tree to see him, and for he was to pass that way. Five. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today 
I must abide at the house. Amen. Six, and he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. Amen. You see, that man is an example to us today. The Bible said he was a short man, but then he needed to see Jesus. He must have been hearing about Jesus that, oh yeah, this is the man going about doing good. But he said I needed to see him. But he couldn't get to him because he was so short and people, you know, because of people around, he could not get to him. I'm sure he thought in himself, how will I get to this man now? Okay, a thought came to him. You know what I would do? I would climb that tree. And by the time I climb that tree, I'll be able to engage Jesus. Anyhow, I will be able to engage him. And so this man did. And you know, this man went away joyfully. Yeah. So tonight, you need to do, you need to do something. Yes. And what is that that you need to do? You need to determine in your heart. Yeah. And say, God, I need you in my heart. Yes. I need that real happiness in my life. Yes. I need to go with you all the way. Yes. There, are there are dangers all over there in the world. Yeah. But if you stay put with Jesus, oh, yeah. he's able to help us. Yeah. He's able to take us through. Yeah. Because he's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. He's everything. Oh, what a great God we have. What a great savior, savior we have. And then this man, we have learned from him, just a short man. And maybe some of us, we are not as short as he is. But then, because of his condition, he decided to climb up. So whatever may be your own position tonight, no matter maybe what you think are, ah, what will hinder me from getting to, Jesus, to, get, to engage that Jesus tonight? You need to begin to push those things aside. Yeah. You need to begin to drop them. Yeah. Because God will see you tonight. Yeah. And not just seeing you coming. Not just seeing you that, yes, you have decided that tonight is the night. I'm sure he will give it to you. Yeah. The Lord will do it for you. Yeah. He's a mighty God. Yeah. He's a mass- merciful God. Yeah. He's a faithful God. Yeah. Now, what do you want to do? Be begin to answer in your heart. What exactly do you want to do tonight? Do you want to come to the altar and pray and engage Jesus and say, Jesus, tonight is the night? Yeah. Just like Zacchaeus did. Yeah. Or you just want to say, oh yeah, there's no point, and you walk out that door. You better don't. Yeah. Don't walk out that door without seeing Jesus tonight. Yeah. Because Jesus is ready to, for you. Yeah. He's ready to bless you. Yeah. I have said that I can feel it in the air, yeah. that the Lord is here. Yeah. Now, do you want to see that Jesus? Yeah. You want to see him? Yeah. Please come to the altar and pray, yeah. and he will bless you. It will help you. Amen.
you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty one of Israel. We thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for promising us, promising us, Father, to be happy. Lord Jesus, Father, we have come before thee tonight that you would make us happy. You have called us, mighty one of Israel, to gather us to this place, Father, that you would make us happy. Lord Jesus, Father, we want permanent happiness. We know that permanent happiness comes from thee. Tonight, here we are, Father, seeking permanent happiness from thee, Lord. Father, we pray that you would send it down. We pray that you will save souls tonight. We pray that you will sanctify. We pray that you will fill us with the Holy Ghost and fire. We pray, Lord Jesus, Father, that you will keep us permanently happy, Lord. That might one of you that your name will be glorified, that your name will be exalted. Father, we commit all into your hands. May your holy name be praised tonight, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.